On October 23, 2024, the Chinese Ministry of Defense announced a significant advancement in the People's Liberation Army PLA Navy's logistical capabilities, showcasing the pivotal role of replenishment operations at sea. The Type 903A comprehensive supply ship, Kekazilihu, Hull 903, participated in a replenishment operation while attached to a combat support ship flotilla of the PLA Northern Theater Command. This operation involved alongside replenishment at sea, wherein the Kekazilihu provided liquid supplies to another vessel within the fleet. The exercise also highlighted the ship's air replenishment capabilities, utilizing a helicopter to deliver materials directly onto the ship. The Type 903A supply ships are integral to the PLA Navy's logistics framework, specifically designed to enhance naval operations through extensive replenishment functions. Equipped to deliver a wide array of supplies, including fuel and essential materials, the Kekazilihu exemplifies how modern naval forces maintain operational readiness and sustainability. Additionally, the ship's ability to facilitate helicopter operations allows for efficient resupply under varied conditions, further enhancing its operational versatility. Replenishment at sea RAS, plays a critical role in contemporary naval warfare, allowing fleets to remain operational far from their home bases for extended periods. This capability significantly enhances the endurance of naval forces, enabling them to resupply with fuel, ammunition, food, and other essential supplies without needing to return to port. By maintaining a continuous presence in operational areas, navies can maximize their combat effectiveness and respond swiftly to emerging threats. Historically, RAS proved invaluable during major naval campaigns, such as World War II. The U.S. Navy's Task Force 58 utilized RAS to conduct long-range strikes against Japan, allowing fleets to remain engaged in continuous operations. By refueling and resupplying at sea, the U.S. Navy minimized lengthy transit times to distant bases, which otherwise would have limited their operational tempo. By the war's end, RAS had evolved to include not just fuel but also ordnance, supporting sustained high-tempo operations over vast distances. In more recent conflicts, such as the Falklands War, the importance of RAS was further underscored when the British Navy operated 7,000 miles from home. The success of this operation hinged on the Navy's ability to sustain its fleet through effective resupply at sea. Today's complex naval missions, whether for humanitarian aid or high-intensity conflict, rely heavily on the logistical support provided by RAS to maintain four deployed naval forces. However, replenishment operations are not without risks. Ships engaged in RAS operations are particularly vulnerable, as their maneuverability is limited while connected for resupply. This vulnerability underscores the importance of coordination, precision, and advanced technology. Modern RAS systems increasingly focus on safety and reliability to mitigate risks associated with these operations. As demonstrated by the PLA Navy's recent exercise with the Kekazilihu, effective replenishment operations are essential for sustaining naval forces in an era where operational demands are ever-increasing. The continued development and refinement of RAS capabilities will remain crucial as navies around the world adapt to the challenges of modern warfare.